Gallery, where master artist Dr. Leroy Clark has presented his exhibition, I Hazy, Cries Everywhere, a dedication to the people of Hazy. Let's take a look at his expansive collection. Rakulia here for Loop TT. So I'm sitting here tonight with the master artist himself, Dr. Leroy Clark. How are you tonight? Um, I don't want to say I'm tired, but I think I better be honest. Please. Yes, I think I'm a little tired. Well, congratulations on such a beautiful collection. I have to say that, by the way. Well, I don't know if you, you only hear about an hour, how you know it. We got an invite to your event, and I took a look around and fell in love with your pieces, and I wanted to just find out some more information. First of all, how many pieces are in this collection exactly? 105. And how long did this collection take to come together? Okay, the last seven pieces were done this year, but the whole series was done in 011. I did note that. I did note a lot of the pieces were dated in 2011. I want to find out, you know, um, is it that you wanted to wait until the entire collection was done before you revealed everything? or? No, no, it's just you're driven to do it. I mean, I was drawing day and night, you know. And it's just one of those things. And I realized... Zero Eleven had that kind of inescapable space about it, and I just allow myself to flow. This was really a lot, a lot of work. It now has my back hurting. Because after that, you know, my back just kind of collapsed. You know. but, so it was that. Um, and then, just about two or three months ago, with the Ebola issue, you know, I did seven more pieces, and that is what brought it up to me. 105. So can you tell me a little bit of what is the inspiration behind it? Well, we know that it is hazy, but what specifically triggered the inspiration? Well, I, have, I have feelings for Haiti, the Haitian people who have um, resisted oppression. They're probably the only group of African people who have stood up in the world that defiantly. And they have been, they've been through all kinds of horrors and still the energy is there to fulfill a destiny contrary to that which is imposed on them. You know? So Haiti has always attracted me. It's a mysterious place and um, there's no peace. You know? And the people just continue to drive. Um, then there is also natural disasters. No other place has suffered so much in the Caribbean like Haiti. You know, so I identify Haiti as the struggle for humanity. Humanity itself has undergone that kind of bludgeoning. You know, we almost have no humanity. You know, so I see Haiti as a sort of metaphor for that kind of pressure. You know. Are there any proceeds, any funds that will be raised out of tonight's exhibition that will be going towards Haiti? No, not really. We are hoping to send the show to Haiti. So we'll be looking for sponsorship to do that because it needs to go to Haiti as well as to some other places that we are inspired to take, you know. But um, I don't beg, so we hope that it will happen. But um, of course, I would like it to go to, go to Haiti. Any idea as to when you would like to send the exhibition to Haiti? As soon as possible. Um, we have some other places like Jamaica and Washington. There are people who are trying to raise the funds to have, have the work go there, you know. I would like it to go all over the world, ideally. But then we have to just have to be patient and see what is what is waiting on this work because it's a very heavy work. They say it's a universal work as far as I'm concerned. It relates to everybody. And I just have a feeling it's going to get up on its own and go. I agree. I think based, especially based on the turnout from tonight, this will reach Haiti and the rest of the world in no time. The support is clearly strong and there for you. I just want to tell you thank, well, thank you. Congratulations once again. And I definitely think that 
from now until May, you will have a full house because these pieces, they speak for themselves. Thank you very much. <laughs>